This is Strange Love After Hours. I'm your host, Cami Chaos. Welcome, babies. Good evening, and welcome to Strange Love Live After Hours. I'm your host, Cami Chaos, and as always, I'm joined by Dr. Normal. Hey, you got that one right. I did. And we're also joined by Joe Christensen this evening. Yeah, Joe. I don't think Joe has a microphone. No, he doesn't. But everybody, please give him a huge round of applause. I don't know if you guys know Joe, but Joe is absolutely amazing. And I don't know that we would want to go and do an on-location thing without him. So Yeah, he's handling all the TriCaster responsibilities and video and all kinds of great production stuff. Thank you, Joe. All right. Thank you. Let me give you guys a really quick rundown of what we're doing. This is Bar Camp Portland 3. Where it keeps space, this is after hours. We wanted to be bar campy. And so, or just campy. Well, yeah, there's that too. So we wanted to be bar campy and campy all at the same time. So we have a little thing up in the kitchen at Cube Space so that people could sign up to be on the show. So I have right here the list of people who are going to be on our show tonight. I didn't know any of these people were going to be on the show tonight before I got here. I don't even know most of you. Well... Maybe I know half of you. Maybe I know more of you than I thought I did. We know some people. I know some of you. There are so many of you that we're going to have each guest. I know people. Each, you know some people. You don't know everybody. Somebody. You act like you know everybody. I've got more followers on Twitter now. Is that important to you? No. Is that a measure of a man's work? It's a measure of a man's something, but I'm not sure what. All right, Dr. Normal wearing sunglasses in the room at night. Okay, we need to get somewhere because I need to make a drink and it's important. So, each guest is going to have five minutes on the show. And to kick things off, we've got the lovely, the talented, the ever-present on Strange Love Live, Verso. (laughs) Who is wrangling all of our guests tonight. So, everyone, Verso, thank you. And she's also a karaoke master. (laughs) Verso, entertain the people while I make myself a drink. Okay. Um, (laughs) Wait, wait. Captain, we're being hailed. Oh, now geez. I'll tell them why that was funny, because Cammie has received new headphones for yes. just such an occasion. Wait, I'm setting your timer. Hold on. I forgot. Okay. okay. Oh, yes. Go. Oh, okay. Wait, wait. I should explain. Cammie's yes. Cammie setting a timer so that people yes. have a certain time. It exactly. takes me way less than and five I'm minutes to And I'm talking over your time. Yeah. yeah. But Kelly, talk. Cammie is not time. being timed. No, you are. Okay. Yeah, I am, and I don't really have anything interesting to tell you. All I know is, yeah, 30 seconds before you guys started. Let's go. Come on. Can you let her talk? No. God, you're bossy. Okay. Talk. Wait, oh, I don't okay. have anything to say because, like, at this point in after hours, I'm on my second beverage, and Doctor Normal is on to his I Tom know, Brokaw impression. I know there's so. a beverage in there. Yes, there is. So I'll start with mine, so we, which is was mixed before the program. I, I so, so why don't you, we don't have drink music tonight? But why don't you? Yeah, oh, okay. we're, we're Doctor Normal hum the drink music. Hum. Uh, hang on, hang on, hang hum. on, everybody. Hum. You have four minutes and I fourteen think seconds. We have. <laughs> okay. I see something. You're just supposed to hum drink music, Doctor. Come on. Girl from Ipanema something. Come on. Kelly is drinking raspberry rum and RC Cola. Oh, God, I can't hum the drink music while I... I'm mixing a dirty dry martini. It's really dry because I was too lazy to bring vermouth. And currently, technically, that means you're not drinking anything because your glass is, sadly, at this moment, empty. Yeah, no, I'm mixing. See? Here, I'll help you with the noise there. Yeah. All right. Oh, hold on. I have to... I think we might. I, I didn't bring my martini mixer either. Oh, this wow. Is low tech people. Look at the martini hack, people. Give it up for the low tech martini, ladies and gentlemen. And now I'm going to have gin on my pants. But uh, you know. It'll be okay. Yeah. All right, Kelly, Pardon what do you think of this lineup we have tonight? I think it looks really interesting, and part of why it looks really interesting is because I have no idea what any of these people are going to talk about. I know. For all I know, Toonlet's here to pimp his new Beardy TV project, because (laughs) I personally am very excited about Beardy TV, even though it doesn't exist. I really want it to, so I keep hoping if I ask him for a Beardy TV sticker enough times, or ask him how it's going, getting Beardy TV going. did you get that Beardy TV sticker yet? Yeah. Do you have one yet? 
Okay. Keep asking. He says keep asking. Keep asking. All so right. we'll, yeah, we'll keep asking. You're gonna be sorry. You told me that. So just remember when you go, oh my God, does she ever have anything to say to me that doesn't include the words Beardy TV? Remember that we have this talk. All right, Kelly. Do you want your remaining? Two minutes and 36 seconds, or should we move on with the first guest? I'm cool with that. We can move on. I just want to say, you guys, uh, it's a lightning round, so when you get up here, uh, try not to be uh, too go. overwhelmed by the fact now that the lights are, are in not fact to be oh appallingly bright. Hey, you guys have fireworks behind you. Oh, there my are God, fireworks, fireworks behind us? But the curtains are closed. Someone come open our, our blind. Yeah. I'll open yeah. them as soon as we're done. So. Okay, you go open our it blind, and now we day. need at Sparkle. Yes. Oh yeah, I want, I want, I want, uh, for Sparkle, I want some Sparkle in the background. Maybe you can get a Thank shot you, of that, Alan. Joe. Oh, oh, there you go, Joe. beautiful. Just for Strange Live. <laughs> it's okay, nice. I'm going to introduce you, and then I'm going to have you tell us your name, and then I'm going to start your timer. Okay, this is at Sparkle. Introduce yourself. Hi, I'm Curtis Chen. Um, I'm pretty sure I don't know you, but it's very nice to meet you. Nice Thank to meet you, you Curtis. Thank you. It's great to be here on uh, Strange Love Live. Thanks for having me. Okay, now you have five minutes. <laughs> okay. Um, I actually really don't know what I'm going to talk about either, but um, mm. I guess I'll start with why I'm here. Yeah. It's because I, uh, my wife and I just moved to the Portland area recently, last mm-hmm. fall. And, um, I'm Where'd you move from? Um, the Bay Area. Like oh. You know what? The Bay Area is the only part of California that you can <laughs> move you, here from, and people don't go, oh. Yeah, well, a little bit, but not as much as, you know, other <laughs> places. I moved from the Bay Area, too. It's okay, okay, cool, cool. Yeah. So, yeah, so I'm, you know, out here trying to meet new people and find out uh, what's going on in the tech community. Have right. you been to Beer and Blog? I have not. Oh, you need to go to Beer and Blog. Okay. It's on Fridays at 4, usually at the Green <laughs> Dragon, but not always. Okay, but I will look that up. Yeah, go to BeerandBlog.com. Seriously, Beer and everyone, should you go to Beer and Blog? Okay. Yeah. All right. Most of You've these people me. are at Beer and Blog on Friday nights. Great. So what do you do? Uh, right now I am writing. Um, what are you writing? I'm writing science fiction and I fantasy. I love so. you. <laughs> uh, thank you. Did you come to Portland to write science fiction and fantasy? Uh, yeah, I'm taking a couple years off work to focus on that. That's fantastic. So, Wonderful. Yeah. So I have a blog, 512 Words or Fewer, if anyone wants to look it up. 512 Words or, or Fewer. fewer. Yes. Dot com? Uh, no, if you go dot to Snout dot org slash okay. five one two it'll redirect you there okay snout dot org slash five one two yep i'm and glad i have this i can listen to later because <laughs> then i can go check out the website yeah. i'm not gonna remember and today's that. story is called first of may i publish a new one every friday it's flash fiction so five to wo- five bleh, five twelve words or mm-hmm. fewer so it'll take you about five minutes to read every friday so is a is it um a new story every friday or it's is a it a new story every friday so it's sort of like an anthology of my crazy stuff. Do you normally write short fiction or longer pieces? I do both. Um, I just finished doing Script Frenzy, which is a great thing that happens every April, Mm -hmm. where um, it's kind of like uh, NaNoWriMo, Mm -hmm. if you're familiar with that. Oh, yes, unfortunately. Screenplay, yeah. So this is writing a 100-page screenplay in a month instead of a 50,000-word novel, Mm -hmm. which is a different kind of challenge. Have you done NaNoWriMo? Yes, I've done that several years. And you're alive. Yes, I'm still alive. <laughs> and it, it's a lot of fun. It is. I've done so, it. So, yeah, I would encourage everyone, um, even if you you know, don't think you can finish it, you might surprise yourself, and you'll get to meet a lot of interesting people doing it and hear about you know, what they're doing, their ideas, and how they work. So. so why don't you tell us what your story this week, today, it's Friday, was about. So today I actually cheated a little. I took an excerpt from my screenplay that I just finished because that's what I'm working on mm-hmm. most of the past month. Um, so it's an excerpt from a screenplay, which is set in Silicon Valley. Mm-hmm. Um, the title, which is probably going to change at some point, is called Sweet Valley Heist. Sweet Valley Heist. Was that based off the Sweet Valley High books? No, it's not. It's just okay. a pun. No, no. I mean, I was wondering if the title was. <laughs> yeah. No, yeah. it's just okay. a pun because okay. I'm kind of silly that way. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But I also, I actually also do a podcast of that. So I read my own stories and put them out. Okay, and everything's nice. free. Everything's Creative Commons. So download it, share it. Where can you find the podcast? Same website. Same website. Yep. Fantastic. And it's also on iTunes. We're so always looking for Portland a web, podio uh, book podcasters. Uh, I'm not on Podio Books oh. yet, but yeah. cool. And it's you reading it. It's me reading You've it. You've got a great voice. That's fantastic. Thank you. Yeah. Dr. I've, Normal, do you I've taken classes, so you've taken That's classes. Good. Do you have the great voice? Um, no, voice acting classes. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Where did um, I have classes? I think you just got hired, and I just got fired. <laughs> By Dr. Normal. 
<laughs> he has a great voice. Yeah, I know. It's, <laughs> if you got a job, all party. weekend it'll be like, yeah. I, I pay in martinis. Maybe we don't so need you on the show great. anymore. I'm okay with that. Oh, fantastic! See, he'll work for martinis. Yeah. Well, most people will. That's good. I, we have to get him down in the basement to do some like a uh, promo work for us for martinis. There we go. Excellent. Excellent. Okay, you have remaining fifty-two seconds. Fifty-two. What seconds. do you want to tell us? I would like to tell everyone that I am not an aardvark. That's important to know about people. Are you going to be here at bar camp tomorrow? I will be here at bar camp tomorrow. And what are you looking forward to? Did you put in um, a topic? Uh, I did not. This is my first bar camp, so I'm it's just kind of um, yeah. I'm just sort of checking it out, seeing what's going on. So far, it's been very cool, and I am probably going to go to the writing group first thing in the morning, mm-hmm. and then just kind of see what happens. Excellent. Well, I'm going to look for you at Beer and Blog because I know you have to come to <laughs> okay. Beer and Blog now. All right, I I will. All right, go see the lovely Kelly, and she'll uh, show you to the Strange Love Live signing board. Make sure that you shine it. Sign it, shine it. I'm, there's sparkly stuff in the background, yeah, it's too. Very disorienting. All right, put your website Great. on there so I can go Great. find it later. Thank you. All right, thank you so much. Oh, perfect. The timer just seriously just went off. And now, Miss Kelly, thank you. She doesn't even have to tell him. He's up here. He's ready to go. Are you going to tell us about the 140 character movie review or are you going to yes, do impressions? Yes, I am. I'm, I'm going to talk okay. about a lot of things. This is Yetsu. This is Fada. Go! All right. Uh, first of all, I'm going to go on the attack here. I'm going. I'm, I, I got to go on the attack. Do what are you doing with a martini when when no other person in this room has a martini? Look, Mister Walken. If Listen, you wanted I'm, a martini, you, you could have brought your well, own. I'll do Walken. I'll do Walken. I'll fight. And it, you know, I'll fight you on this. And mm-hmm. if you bring out a snake, if you put snakes on this couch, snakes on a couch, I'll fight a snake on this couch right now. I'll do it. I will do it. I thought we were doing um. I thought we were doing Christopher Walken. He wasn't on the Snakes on a Plane movie, was he? No, but he would have been if he had done the audition like this. Oh, I see. All right. I see. I want, I want James Bond. And on. scene. I, Thank you. I, I'm going to pull your mic. Uh, oh, okay. Sorry. A- um, as we all know, you have a tendency to get a little oh, close to the microphone and scare shorts. me. I would like some, uh, I'd like some <laughs> yeah. Colonel Clink now, please. All right. I, I, by the way, I'm bringing messages uh, from the ether from Irk. From Eric. Oh, how is Eric doing? Well, first of all, he wants to. He, he's glad that Portland got the memo about uh, doing the fireworks. He it's says, important. These are fireworks that got escaped from last week from his magic bag of tricks. Oh, that he had nice. planned for last for week. For those of you who weren't with us last week, we had our friend Eric from Eric Pod from Australia on the right. show, and he had a magic bag of Australian tricks, which included Aussie hair shampoo, Aussie and, hair um, shampoo, and Vegemite. Vegemite. And Vegemite. And and mm-hmm. one heck of a swizzle stick, I must say. It's mm-hmm. it's it's a beautiful. I almost brought it with me tonight, I, oh, but yeah. you know, I that, was afraid it would break. That's the swizzle stick of the gods. Mm-hmm. All right. Um, so one of the things I'm doing right now that I want to talk about is, uh, if you follow me on Twitter, I'm a or the at sign uh, y u e t s u is my regular account. But mm-hmm. the one I want more people to follow more is 140 Movie Review. That's the numerals, 140 Movie Review. Uh, and it's soon, t- I <laughs> it's soon to be its own blog. I'm one of the beer and bloggers who doesn't quite have his blog I'm up yet. Of right you. now you've got the coming soon under construction Shame. thing happening up here. Right here. What platform which are you using? Well, which camera are you on? Are you oh, working no. with me, camera no, guy? No, is there, is there, is there, is there an bed. animated? I got it. Is there an animated guy with the uh, shovel? Uh, I, I would, that would be good. Come on. The animated guy with the no, shovel. No, what what blogging platform Dancing are you using? Dancing girls and fire. Well, that's the thing. I'm using this to to help me learn more from people like wonderful Z- Zolotol. Nate, Nate, Zolotol. Zolotol. Ho- H- hold on, I got it back. Zolotol. Zolotol. Oh. Nader, Just saying house? it, I feel like Salma Crick! Hayek might come out from somewhere. <laughs> um, it's hard to, to say. teach myself things like Drupal. Uh, what the blog site will actually look like is more something like this. Eventually, here we go. Ah, at it's 140 very movie. Fancy. If and you're I only wanted. I wanted. The, audio the idea fancy. is, it's movie reviews for people. Uh, who are like over caffeinated and just can't take reading a whole review. What kind of movies do you uh, review? Well, here, I want you to read a couple of them. Uh, uh, I wanted the Cami voice. Okay. The Cami voice. We've got a really minute read. and 48. Yes. All right. So read like he's not, he's just not that into you. He's just not that into you. Disingenuous title. At least two of the guys were so far into Scarlett Johansson, they showed up on an X ray. Shall I read the wrestler? 
The Wrestler, superb cast and direction, but is it really acting if Mickey Rourke's preparation was just to live that way for 56 years? <laughs> that, that was a good one. That was a good one. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah. uh, the, one of the latest ones I have is, uh, is, I just saw the Midnight Show last night, X-Men Origins, Wolverine. You go, Wolverine. Tear it all up. <laughs> when motivation <laughs> dies in the third reel, tear it up anyway. And do a little dance. <laughs> do a little dance. Yeah. Um, I'm also starting my own personal blog. It's called I Also Went. That'll be in WordPress to get my WordPress skills up because mm -hmm. uh, Kelly inspires me for things like that. It's and not that she inspires you. It's that she'll kick your ass if you don't do it. <laughs> <laughs> That's inspiration. Mm -hmm. um, th this is kind of what that will look like on the front, only it'll be in WordPress. 40 seconds. Yes, 40 seconds. Uh, dun, finally... Dun, dun, dun. Uh, what, what else did I put up on the board? Was um, I James Bond. Oh, James Bond. Oh, and you have I'm to do a, a Russian a submarine commander, I, I'm but I speak in a Scottish accent. You have to do a Rick Tarosi impression because you put Rick up there, and I pulled him down because I know Rick doesn't want well, to come on my Rick, show you know, again. Hey, Rick, you know, I know he's out there, but you know, I gave him my phone number, and he never calls. Yeah, Rick, Rick, Rick I want your Rick impression. Rick, if you're out there, call me. It's because he doesn't love you. Rick. It's sad. Okay. He doesn't love you. I know. You have seven seconds. Six. No, you, Rick and I have a thing, Do okay? Do a Rick impression. A Rick? A Rick impression? Yeah. No, just, oh, your just time is up. <laughs> Get off my couch, okay. sir. <laughs> Wait, my beer. My beer. Oh, God. Take your beer. Don't. I don't want to leave you beerless. Well, perhaps you're wondering why I've called you all here tonight. All right, I have to say, before you start, and before I start your five minutes, Ed is about to say a bunch of stuff that's going to be really smart, and none of you are going to understand what he says, and neither am I. Are you prepared? Ed, you have, this is Ed Baraski, Z-N-Meb, on Twitter. Yeah. All right, Ed, go. Go. Actually, the first thing I wanted to do is people keep asking me, uh, what's the Z-N-M-E-B stand for? Well, the... The MEB is my initials, uh, M. Edward Baraski. There's uh, one tweeter who knows what the M stands for, but she's not here tonight. Uh, the ZN Are you going to tell us? Yeah, the ZN stands for my two childhood heroes. Zorro, you know, everybody knows who Zorro is. Yeah. And Captain Nemo from uh, the um, uh, 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea. And, you know, it wasn't until... I was in grad school that I found out that Captain Nemo wasn't the hero of that. So, anyway, that's sad. Uh, it's really sad. I thought he was. Th I thought he was the hero. Anyway, uh, I've got this uh, tag here. Uh, it says, "I am a villager." So. Uh, oh, were you playing werewolf? Are you playing werewolf? No, no I'm not playing werewolf. I've never oh. played werewolf before. <laughs> I've, I've played werewolf. I got killed by the werewolves once. And, you were know, you a villager and they killed you? I was a villager and the. Werewolves got me. I guess they thought I was the seer or something. That's very sad. Hey, do you know what the different colored tags mean? Uh, yeah. It uh, means that uh, the green ones are for people who like uh, the open SUS operating system. <laughs> what are the blue ones? Yeah. Um, uh, my tag says Fortran, uh, which uh -huh. is, uh, yeah. Uh, I, I asked at the front desk, and they said, you have to find out. And I thought that was very ominous, so I gave Dr. Normal and I the same color just in case. Okay, oh, yeah, oh, that'll be interesting. I'm looking for other people with yeah. blue tags. We're going to have a secret meeting. So, Oh, yeah, Alan, thank you. Yeah. We're going to have a secret blue tag person meeting. Yeah. Maybe the blue tag So we can defend ourselves against the people, people who with like the Windows other tag. or something. Blue, Windows, yeah. <laughs> I uh, have a Macintosh. She has a Macintosh. I don't, that doesn't so, come in blue, does it? Ed, what are you up to? What, what am kind I of up projects to? are you uh, working on? I'm distracted right? by I'm tags. I'm working on two things, actually. One is this uh, Linux I.O. thing that I've been doing for about a year and a half. Uh, ran into a guy on the web uh, actually this morning uh, that's doing some very similar work and I'm going to try and hook up with him uh, and get some of this stuff into the uh, into this benchmark that he's written. The other thing I'm working on is a Twitter library for the R programming language. A hmm. Twitter library for the R? I don't know what R pro... Okay, R programming... R is a statistical programming language. This is mm -hmm. the part where people aren't going to understand. I love uh, that part, go. Uh, but R is a statistical programming language. Uh, it's become very popular in the last, uh, well, 
three months. Mm -hmm. There was an article in the New York Times in January on it. Um, and what I'm, what I'm working on right now is a library that will go out and get tweets from uh, the, the web and run them into R so you can uh, analyze them. And so that's, that's the other thing I'm working on right now. So Ed, let me ask you a question. I'm, I'm hopeful that you can explain this to me. Why so many different programming languages? Well, because everybody thinks he can design a programming language. Kelly is laughing at me. She thinks that's a dumb question. No, I no, think it's I, an awesome question. Not only, is it, not only is it an awesome question, but it's one that I ask all the time because really I, I claim there are too many programming languages. There are. There are so many that you uh, can't just lock it down to one thing. It's the right thing. tool for the right job, Or maybe right? five, yeah. you know, five would be enough. Uh, but really, really, there, there really are only two programming languages. Uh, yes. One of them is C, which is descended from Algol, uh, and the other one is Lisp, which is descended from Lisp. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and, and they're all really, they're really all the programming languages are descended from either Lisp or Algol. Uh, C, Ruby, Python, Perl, uh, they're all really Algol. basically Algol underneath. Uh, the <laughs> only one that's really different is Lisp and Scheme. And R, R is actually closer to Lisp than it is to Algol. I'm going to have to go and look up some terms. Yeah. yeah. You have 40 seconds left. What do you want to tell us? 40 seconds. What do I want to tell you? Um, I am a villager. <laughs> He's a villager. He is not the werewolf, people. I am not a werewolf. Do I'm not, a villager. Do not come after him with a pitchfork. Oh, oh, pitchfork. Where can people find you on the internet? Uh, they can find me on the internet at uh, baraski-research.net, uh, ruby-perspectives.blogspot.com, uh, algocompsynth.com. My goodness. And uh, there's one other, linuxcapacityplanning.com. And at ZNMEB. At Twitter. And you're not at the Shostakovich uh, enthusiast.com either. <laughs> well, okay. not yet. No, no, no we have yet. to get him off the couch. The timer <laughs> is gone. Get me off the couch. Get me off the couch. Bye, Ed. Thank you, Ed. Thank Ed. you. And now we have our myth. Hello, Hello. David. Hello, Kevin. I'm so, I, I don't know what happened to your post-it. I didn't see it. In the first what? Oh, oh the first list? I don't know what happened to your post-it. I went up and I found it. I'm wondering if I accidentally grabbed it in the uh, Yetsu, Yetsu carnage with all of Yetsu's were, extra post-its. In, in the uh, spirit of uh, you know reuse and, and not wasting things, mm -hmm. was, I just you know added my name to the, the last post-it that was up there. Oh, that and may then, have been what And then happened. other people came, came up and added more You may have added it to one of Yetsu's evil post-its. All right, I'm going to give you, I'm going to start your timer now. This is our myth on Twitter. This is David. David, what do you want to talk about? Well, I just um, wanted to say that I really, uh, really enjoyed the community mm -hmm. that uh, is developed here in Portland. I recently had a chance to go to the uh, uh, Corvallis uh, Bar Camp mm -hmm. and uh, saw some talks by uh, Verso and Geek Girl Dawn and uh, Hundred Dollar. That was oh, was it what the was Beaver Bar called? Camp? Yeah, 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 Beaver Bar Camp. Yeah. I remember when the girls went down. What was yeah. it called? It was called. How, How to, to be, be a geek and pick up chicks. Very nice. I, I resisted going in. <laughs> I, wow. I made an attempt. I was like, that can't be good. So I went to it, some. I went to some. To I didn't know good. them. I didn't know them in my defense. And uh, <laughs> I, I went to this. I said, okay, well, somna luminescence sounds great. So mm -hmm. I'll go into that. And, mm -hmm. you, you went know, to actually learn something instead light of from the, sound and the this, flashy one. And and the mad scientist was running back and forth between his projector and the and the in his computer and doing wires and. It's like, this is going to be so cool. And then he leaves. And there's three of us just sitting there and going, well, I'm going next door. <laughs> he just left you in the, uh -huh. in the he left. session? He left to go do something. So He probably went to go to the meet chicks session. He was, <laughs> he was going to get something that was really cool. Well, everyone, yeah, everyone from that session eventually came over. So, That's And nice. we had a really, really good wide-ranging talk. So are you from Corvallis or from Portland? From or Salem. From Salem. Do I follow you on Twitter? No. Because your face is kind of familiar. Well, yes. I don't know why, but everyone <laughs> says that. Do you just have one of those faces? I, I do. <laughs> you have a Twitter face? <laughs> I don't know I, what I that swear, is. I, I went to like this really mundane conference, and, and this one guy says, I thought 
for a second you were Elton John. <laughs> uh. What? <laughs> you don't look like Elton John. No, I don't look like Elton no, John. You don't. So your I glasses just, are not I, very I, I, flashy yeah, enough. No, I, I, I project that, though, so people recognize me somehow. I don't know why. But anyway, uh, yeah, I, I really enjoyed um, uh, Verso's uh, talk on uh, building community offline with mm-hmm. online tools. Yeah. And uh, I'm, I'm trying to get something started in Salem. And I'm doing, right now I'm doing... Um, Have you I considered started, a beer and blog, Salem? I have actually considered that, and I'm starting with, uh, since I've been doing video for the last uh, five years, mm-hmm. I started with, okay, I'm finally going to do the, the, uh, the public access tech show or slash podcast that uh, mm-hmm. I've been meaning to do for a long time. So I just jump-started under the name of, ta-da, Northwest Tech Show. So that's I think I just followed Northwest Tech Show on oh, Twitter. Oh, did you? Oh, that Or at least Strange of Live might have. That may very well have been, okay. Because I remember Northwest Tech Show following us the other day. Or maybe so, it was today. I don't know. So if you, if you know someone in Salem, lingering in the darkness, <laughs> there is a way. <laughs> and it's Northwest Tech Show. <laughs> we will find each other, <laughs> and we will light the light. Yeah, they, uh, it's been a long time running joke from just. I mean, I I grew up in Salem. I went away and came back, mm-hmm. and it was always like, nothing interesting happens here. As soon as something starts, inter- someone you know something starts to happen, they move to Portland. Because Portland's where it's at. It's easier. No. It's, it's the easy way. It's the easy path. <laughs> <laughs> Just go where there's community already. Don't yeah. make a new one. So. It's true. It is easier to no, go where there's a community. No, but you guys community. really have something really cool here. So. We're all like yeah. lovey and, we're, and happy. And we're neighbors. We're like hippies, but, yeah. you know. With iPhones. With iPhones. Neighbors exactly. with iPhones. Thank you. <laughs> and there's been a lot of uh, like cross-pollination with the Portland and Corvallis groups. Mm-hmm. And I've also, I, I lived in Corvallis for a while, and that's an excellent town. So, you Are know, you an Oregon native? Yeah. Yeah, I'm, there's, there's I, not many of you. I'm scared to, you know, do a tax form from another so state. Dr. So. Normal's an Oregon native, too. He's, he's never filed taxes anywhere else, I don't think. No. no? Gro- growing up in or- like Oregon, it's a blessing and a curse. You know what, though? It's, you can't I've travel. Never, it's, it's I've like, never filed taxes anywhere else, either, but I was born and raised in California and Texas. You know, it's like anywhere you go. Sales tax. Oh I know. I always tell people when they come to visit, you know, we don't have sales tax. And they're and like, you should wait to buy something. That can't be legal. That can't. Oh my God! You have thirty-seven seconds. I was. So I was going to ask where we find. Is it on cable access and the yes. podcast? Well, right now I start. I'm starting with just trying to get some some people connected. Mm-hmm. So if they mm-hmm. can follow on Twitter.com/slash nwtechshow. I think I spelled Northwest, Northwest Tech, Tech Show. show. And where else can they find you on the internet? It's uh, that's that's it for now. Okay. And you know we'll build we'll build from there. Wherever I go, you know, start there. You got to have a few people for it's really worth building something, and it's still evolving. So. Excellent. Know. Thank you but, so yeah. much, David. Fine well, verso, and she'll have you sign the canvas. Thank you very much. It's been thank a you very much. Okay. Is this Steph now? Yes. Stephanie. Oh my gosh, you're so cool with your sunglasses. And your wine and your little Widmere cup. Okay, this is Steph Wagner, and is it? I go by Steph. S W. Is it Steph or Stephanie? Stephanie. What did What did I have? What? Oh, you know what? I was just trying not to bit. write a bunch of words. I'm sorry. Go ahead and pull that mic in a little. S W Wagner. S or S W S W Designs. S Wagner Designs. Although. Yetsu calls me um, Swagner, or everybody calls me Swagner because it looks like Swagner. Swagner. Um, it so. is Swagner. Okay, I'm starting. Swagner! Go, baby. Okay, so I'm <laughs> Stephanie Wagner, S. Wagner Designs, or Swagner Designs, on Twitter. Um, it's okay. I, I had to bring the glasses on because I had to be just like Dr. Normal. We have something in common. They're both women glasses. Yeah, they are women's glasses. It's hey, true. Hey. He likes He's the her. ladies' glasses. You want to take my glasses up and go talk to Cram? Go find Cram. Okay. Cram has said, a lot I'm, of different I'm telling kinds you, man. of glasses. Cram schooled me on how to wear wear shades. So So I'm a, a new fan of Strange Love Live. I uh, just moved back to Portland from mm-hmm. Bend, Oregon. Um, and very excited to be back in Portland. And very uh, excited to be immersed into the tech community. But I've been a part of the tech community for, even though I was in Bend, with, with Portland. Mm-hmm. So I'm going to take the glasses off. Yeah, it's easier when you don't have the sunglasses on. So yeah. I have to bring up a couple of things. First of all, this gives me the chance to say that Strange of Life is going to be 
uh, broadcasting from Web Visions. Yes, yes. Because Stephanie is doing a lot of work with Web Visions, yeah. and we're very excited. This is my fourth year with Web Visions. Um, I'm a second year board member, and mm -hmm. uh, thankfully Brad Smith has let me take more of a reins this year. Mm -hmm. And um, I've also, too, been trying the podcasting deal. On w that was my other part. I'm very excited. Yes, I'm on WV09 as another Twitter account that I help run for Web Visions. And uh, just interviewed today uh, Ray King from About Us here. And uh, next up is uh, very it's cool. going to be our very own Case Organic. And Oh, Amber. She's back. I, I saw know. her Welcome back. briefly right. earlier. I was so excited that she, I didn't know she was back. So I was kind of surprised when I saw her. She's back from Australia. And then Raven will be another victim and, and so mm -hmm. forth. So we have over 50 speakers in, uh, and four keynotes this year. So I'm going to listen to the podcasts so that I know who to look for when I'm when I'm yeah, so broadcasting from Web Visions. I'm excited. You but might you're broadcasting want to on. Um, that. <laughs> that's what we're talking it about. Will be at Web Visions, you're, right? I just said that. Oh, okay. Were you not listening? <laughs> no. Strange Love Live is broadcasting <laughs> Thursday and Friday from Web Visions. Yes, because Wednesday is going to be a workshop only day. All right. We're going to come for the lunch. Uh, also, Web Visions oh. is hosting Lunch 2.0. Yes. Yep. Which is awesome. Yeah. Very excited. And Stephanie is interviewing all of the speakers. Or trying to, Or least. trying to get as many <laughs> as she can. And she's doing that on Blog Talk Radio. Do you know that? Well, it's Blog Talk Radio, but I have it under the Web Vision's name. Mm -hmm. um, and, um, and so I try to put it up on the Twitter account, the WV09, mm -hmm. and give you the link. Um, but I do have some editing to do on some of the... Uh, podcast is because I'm new and so mm -hmm. there's definitely some dead air in there um would like to take out the ums and the ahs and yeah and so forth but uh so I've gotten about five five or six people Lindy Johnson from Fast Company she's going to be one of our web visionary award uh judges mm -hmm. and she was a keynote speaker last year and interviewed Dave Human. he's from Vancouver Washington and he's a kind of a motivator speaker and uh can't remember who else right now. <laughs> That's okay. Yeah, you're good. And you were recently on uh, Irk, our our last week's episode. Our friend from Australia. You you were on one of his episodes lately. Yes. And you heard it? Yes. I have not. Had, I have. It's been bad because I've been bugging him about it, and I. It's up. And I haven't heard it yet, and so I'm looking forward to it, and uh, and and so forth. But he's been giving me some great advice about podcasting and so forth, and good. Um, and uh, also, you know, people have. Uh, also asked, said, you know, go talk to Dr. Normal and, and Cammy about some podcasting advice. I would say if you want to talk about talking on air, talk to me. If you want to talk about anything else, talk to Dr. Normal. Okay, gotcha. <laughs> Just get us when we're sober. That's Are true. Are you sure? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm, I'm, I'm much more intelligible when I'm, yeah, no, no, don't get me when I'm sober. You have 55 seconds left. What do you want to tell us? Well, we have eight days left to turn in a... Uh, um, web for Web Visionary Awards uh, entries for Web Visionary Awards twenty five dollars for an entry, mm -hmm. and we have like over seven uh, phenomenal judges judging judging the Web Visionary Awards. And when are the Web Visionary Awards? It's going to it's going to be that Thursday after the conference. So they're th Thursday evening. Is it at the Baghdad? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And so it's going to be a very exciting event. It's going to be the second annual Web Visionary Awards. And this is the ninth. Web Visions? Yes, it is. Fantastic. Yes, ninth year. So we're going to have the podcast bus there as well with the podcast hotel. Alex? It's going to be tons Easy. of podcasting. Yes. Oh, which so is Alex good. So Alex will be there. That's very yes. good. We like to see. All right, so tell us where we can find you and Web Visions on the internet. You can find me at s or swagnerdesigns.com. I also have a blog that I'm just starting. So you just take my web address and slash blog. Uh, S. Wagner Designs on Twitter and WV09 on Twitter as well. Excellent. Thank you, Stephanie. Thank you. Nope. No music. Hello, Chris. Hello. Get your headphones on. Uh, Don't be afraid to over this way you'll get you get better range on the microphone there gonna get all comfortable here yeah get comfy okay this is chris brentano is that right well technically brentano brentano a lot of people say brentano and it's all right no i like to say it the correct way this is chris brentano ctb on twitter go you got five minutes babe go what do i say i'm chris um 
I'm just a dude. I grew up here in Portland. <laughs> just a dude. <laughs> just a dude. That's um, the best intro that any guest on our show has ever had. <laughs> I'm just that. a dude. Of course, I'm just a dude. Right on. You know. I'm just a dude with a Firefox hat. Okay. Yeah, I wear a Firefox good. hat. Um, yeah, I grew up here in Portland. I work at Giant Software. I'm a Linux sysadmin. I like open source. Um, I'm a dad. And, uh, Me, daddy. I don't know. I like beer. Music. <laughs> I don't know. I don't really know what to say here. I'm just sort of. Be rambling. careful because it's starting to sound like a dating ad. What else do you do? Uh, headphones on, Chris. Oh, I'm also um, a DJ and I guess sort of a. a I don't know if I really want to say that I am a, a music maker. Uh, I guess it's called a producer when you make electronic music. Um, a maker upper. A maker, maker upper. of the music. Yeah. I just make up uh, sounds and beats and stuff and. Uh, and I mix it with the records, and it all sounds kind of nice. It makes it sound pretty. So it sounds wonderful. What are you uh, looking forward to here at Bar Camp? <laughs> um, I'm looking forward to a bunch of things. I'm actually I'm really excited. I um, I came here just to sort of um, why well, I volunteered this year, which I was really excited about, and uh, it's been a lot of fun. Um, yay volunteers! Yay volunteers! I think I someone else. And actually, I have to give props to Stephanie. She really she's done a lot. She did. The tags. She brought two cases of wine. She took care of the beer. She's yeah. just been a rock star. All right. So, Woo, thank you. And she wore girl sunglasses just like Dr. Normal. <laughs> okay. Let's get off that. Okay. Well, I didn't what even think that? about him as girl sunglasses until now, but. Exactly. No, they're, they're mine. Cool. Uh, Are they nice? He won't let me have them back. You look good. <laughs> but I, I, I know. I know. So let's get back to the guy okay, Chris. and the music maker upper. I want to hear about the music that you make that you don't want to talk about and Uh, bar camp. Okay. Uh, So I DJ and I produce, I guess you could say, uh, dubstep and drone bass. Actually, long story short, or I'll try to make it short, um, five years ago I started a site called PDXDNB, which focused on the drum and bass and jungle community here in Mm -hmm. Portland, um, which I was very into at the time. And five years later, I mean, I'm still into it, but uh, my (laughs) interest has shifted to dubstep, which... Is sort of similar in a sense. Um, You're using big, big. Is this like what's swing dub, music? What's dubstep? No, dubstep. <laughs> so dubstep. I don't understand. Baroque. <laughs> You're baroque. It, yes. <laughs> make it dumb for me. Dubstep for the uh, old guys. Think of dubstep. Uh, dubstep is a form of dance music. It runs at about 140 beats per minute. Um, it's really heavy at the sub bass. It's like Twitter, 140. Hey, there you go. Um, have you with the sub bass since it's got a lot of techno influence. It's got a lot of reggae, dub, and dance hall influence. What's um, dub? Dub is... <coughs> oh, boy, I don't even know if I can explain oh that. Oh, my gosh, explain it, because I don't get it. Dub is... Think of dub as, uh, like, reggae without words and okay. a lot of reverb and okay, echo. I can get that. Tape delay. All right, I can, I can handle that. That type of thing. Um, so, yeah, so um, I sort of DJ and produce under the name Chris Coda. Chris Coda, spell it. Uh, C H R I S C O D A. Thank you. Um, <laughs> uh, occasionally, I DJ. I DJed last month um, at this monthly event called Various, which is actually taking place tomorrow at Brinks, which is a block from uh, Produce Row. Mm-hmm. After party. After party. Woo! After party tomorrow. Right on. Um, and I also had a couple of releases last year on a compilation called That Music Two, which I was kind of happy about. Um, Kind so of happy, or kind of we're really happy. Yeah. It was on a label called Solar, which you is run. You were very excited. I was super excited. Um, <laughs> it was on Solar, which is a label run by Marcus Intellects, who's sort of a legendary drum and bass and jungle producer. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. You have fifty-five seconds left. You have to have something to say. What do I want to say? Um, I don't really know. I'm having a lot of fun here Where tonight. Can we find you on the internet? Where can you find me we'll on the internet? There. Um, oh, okay, we'll get there. Don't worry. No, it's okay. Uh, so what's the, what are you looking forward to tomorrow at, at uh, Bar Camp? What's I'm your really looking forward to, I think, the uh, food slash homebrew slash whatever else session. Um, Something so yummy and drinky. And I, yeah. Okay. And now, thank you, Kelly, where can we find you on the internet? Find me on the internet. I'm CTV on Twitter, uh, pdxdnb.com, 41.org, which is spelled F-O-U-R-O-N-E.org. And a new little blog I started about robots called happylittlerobot.com. All right. Thank you so much, Chris. Thank you for having me. Good night. And you must be Shimmer with a one. With a one, because I've been with the internet quite a long time. 
Like a long, long time? I don't understand why the one means a long time. I don't know. I was talking to, uh, to Chris actually back in the day when Leak Speak used to be cool and it wasn't actually just 13 year olds that were using it. Uh huh. Um, and that was, you know, that was kind of way back when kind of, you know, people hadn't heard of the web. Mm-hmm. When people, you know, so I worked for Yahoo and that kind of, that started a long time ago. I, I didn't kind of start working for Yahoo. Maybe I would have been like 12 when Yahoo started, but uh-huh. um, starting for Yahoo. Um, uh, and you know that was the kind of first experience I had on the web, like maybe ninety seven, mm-hmm. ninety six, mm-hmm. um, and before that on bulletin boards and stuff. And I think that's that's kind of a lot of people um, forget the old school. A lot of people kind of assume that everything's been like Web two point mm-hmm. and YouTube and you know other things like that. Facebook. They uh, forget Pine. Right. They yeah. forget that Usenet existed. Right. Yeah. That's where everybody used to get their, you know, illegal downloads because mm-hmm. BitTorrent has obviously created a, a market that existed before, like tape recording. You Is know? it bad that I tell you that I've never used BitTorrent? Yes. <laughs> I've heard of it, but I never used it. So what are you, what are you doing at Bar Camp and what are you doing in Portland? Um, so I, I'm a horrible shill. Um, I'm here because Yahoo um, have paid a, um, a large sum of money um, in order to buy everybody here beer. So. Yes! Thank you so much. <laughs> Woo! So it's, it's That's a, not horrible. That's it's, a nice it's, thing. It's a terrible thing. Um, I have to go to all these different places and interact with people and, and drink beer. That's really sad for you. I know. Uh, it's, it's a terrible thing. I feel sad for you. Right. I was in D.C. Um, and, you know, somebody took me to a bar with a thousand different kinds of beer at a mm-hmm. conference. You know, and I cried inside. <laughs> I see that. It's sad. Can I use the real name that's on your name tag? Yes. So okay. This is Tom, everybody. I wasn't, I'm never sure if people want their actual name out there or not. So, Tom, you're here because Yahoo pays people to give us beer. Right, pretty much. That's nice. Yahoo loves developers. Yeah. You guys are the people that create all the really interesting stuff. Well, not me, but them. Well, them. Yeah. And, and you too, you know. And this is, I mean, this is the point, is the web's all about participation now. Mm-hmm. It's, it's no longer just like a one-way medium. I mean, if you go way back to like 97, you know, you had to be like some kind of math guy. Correct. I've, I've met Tim Berners-Lee. Um, you know, he's a lovely guy, but, you know, he, he's the kind, he worked at CERN. You know, the web was invented in a place where they smash atoms together. Mm-hmm. You know, it kind of says it all. Mm-hmm. And the fact that now we have like web 2.0, it's, it's really kind of, it's making it about everybody. Right. And that's kind of cool. And I'm glad that, you know, I'm a part of it. I'm glad that Yahoo's a part of it. I'm glad that we can kind of, you know, work with people here to be a part of it. So when you're not wandering around, mm-hmm. watching people enjoy the beer and enjoying the beer yourself, which I noticed you didn't bring any beer to the couch. Just saying. Well, so I was... What I, are you doing? I, I had a lot of beer and then somebody went, oh, yeah, you're, you're supposed to be talking on a radio show. And I was like, oh, I should stop drinking now. <laughs> l- lest I sound yet more incoherent. Um, That's okay. The accent masks the incoherence. Oh, really? It's fine. Yeah. Good. No, I've noticed that. It works. It's, it, it works for you. It's fine. Not uh, for you particularly, but you know. What? I wasn't calling him incoherent. <laughs> I was just saying Americans hear the accent, and that's all they hear. They don't hear the rest of it. So, so more, I said she's American, and when we moved over, she's like, you know, we're not going to move over, and you're going to like, you know, go off with some trollop <laughs> because she loves your accent. I'm like, no. Stupid trollops. I know they're so tempting. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry, my best friend is British and he uses the word trollop constantly. So it's just, it kind of brings me back home. I'm very happy to hear the word trollop. Could you say it again? Trollop. Thank you. Trollops, stay away. Okay, you have (laughs) one minute 30 left. What do you have to tell us? Okay, so um, I'm not going to do the employer plug because, you know, they're big enough they can do that themselves. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm I'm Chimmer on uh, Twitter. With a number one instead of an I. With a one instead of an I. and yeah, I just recommend like keep going to bar camps, you know, produce your own stuff, um, participate, you know, in this world, everybody that I know that's kind of doing anything interesting is because they're choosing to participate. The people that aren't doing anything interesting is because they're choosing not to participate. That's it. All right. Thank that's you so much for joining us. Oh, wait, where can we find you on the internet aside from at Shimmer? No? Where else can we find you on the internet? Come back, come back to us. Sorry. It's so okay. uh, the incredibly, um, the, the place that I chose to live was kids666.com. Kids666? Because, six, six, six. Yeah, it annoyed my parents back <laughs> in the day. And I never changed it. All right, awesome. Thank you. Go see Kelly. She'll have you sign our <laughs> Thank board. Thank you very much. Thank you. Um, wait. 
It's, it's almost you. It's almost you, Craig. Alan. It's your time, babe. Craig, you're next. I'm doing this really I know, we didn't inform you. I know. I'm well, doing we this love great you. jazz music right now. Here, let me just save the best for you. Fade out. I have to say, last time we did a you. show on location. I got it. Alan. Oh, you got it. I got it, yeah. Last time we did a show on location, we had Alan. And I didn't know he was going to come on. He was the DJ yes. that night when we did um, um, Cyborg Camp. Cyborg Camp pre-party. Pre-party. And now I saw him and I was like, dude, we've got to get Alan back on the show. Yeah. Well, I asked okay. my DM to. Well, you know the reason why I'm Will here, right? Will you tell me these things? Why are you here, well, Alan? I'm going to start your timer now. Boom. Cyborg Camp had beer. Uh-huh. Bar Camp had Bar beer. Bar Camp has beer. Mm-hmm. Correlation, maybe. Causation, <laughs> definitely. And I noticed that... Coincidence? No. Look, Alan has a blue tag, just like I do. Blue is the best. Uh, greens are mean. Yellow is, I don't know. Mellow. I guess. <laughs> Why did you choose the blue tag? I don't know. I, I, I kind of looked really well with my shirt. It was baby blue. Yeah. It was baby blues. I got the blue because of my blue jeans, and then I was like, oh, does it match my lanyard? So but then I didn't care. I, okay, I have a question here. So everyone... I didn't go to last bar camp, so I didn't know what exactly the context behind this logo was all about. This is a different logo than last year. Does it look like maybe a steampunk vampire werewolf? Yes. I thought so. It does. It does not look like a Sasquatch. No. Is it supposed to be a Everyone? Sasquatch? It's supposed to be a Sasquatch. Oh, I thought it was some kind of monkey. I was really relieved to find out what it was, but it's really kind of like a skateboarding on a rocket. It's really cool, though. I like yeah, it. it is. I it's like really it. cool. It looks like, oh, no, because he's like got his hand out. It looks like he's yeah. going to scratch a record or something. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Brom, did you do this? Where's Brom? Dubstep no, Sasquatch. Did Who did it? <laughs> what, what? Brash did it? Brash Creative. Brash Creative. It's awesome. We have it. I think it, it is actually embedded in the stream for Strange of Live this evening, isn't it? I think so. Mm-hmm. Or something. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, Alan. Or later. I think it would have been cool, though, if it was a werewolf, because there's so much werewolf going on right now. You know what I was the most... You just heard earlier that, the, I guess, the the locals or whatever won, the civilians. The Ed is a villager. Villagers. Ed's a villager. That's I've never, all I know. I never played werewolf, so... I've I, never played werewolf either, and I kind of wanted to tonight, but I was a little busy getting ready for the show. Yeah, so... Swine flu. I'd play it if it was called swine flu. Do you have swine flu? That would be so great. I wanted medical masks tonight because yeah. I'm afraid of all of you. You could be patient zero and you could be nice. killing just people. Just touch everybody. <laughs> Lick them. All right, Alan, what do you want to tell us? Uh, okay, so You're here that to, was to tell us things. the obligatory joke. Uh, obligatory, <laughs> obligatory rant. Okay. Or maybe about myself. Um, yeah, talk about you. I am a freelance web developer for Rails, and Rails. I'm not a rock star. Thank you. You're not? I'm not a rock star. I'm sad. I'm not going to clap. He's not a rock star. Rails, not rock stars. That's my new motto. I don't need to be a rock star. And you wear flip-flops. Sandals. Sandals. <laughs> oh, no. Do they have a buckle on back? These were made. No, they, made. It, you're right. You know what? They have a buckle on back. They are sandals. This is leisure wear. Dr. Normal does not believe in exposing his feet. I'm not used to seeing man feet. Yeah. No, this is professional wear, maybe. I don't know. Is it? Yeah. It's yeah. amazing. So, yeah, I don't know if people on the keep up with the PDX RB stuff, but there was some drama about just professionalism in, you know, uh, Things like this, bar camp, for example. Professionalism in Professionalism bar camp. and maybe a lack of professionalism in the entire sort of like, I am an R-rated Y'all individual. Are not so, you know, I, I can say, okay. It's after hours. You can say R-rated. Things. I could say fuck. Yes, it's maybe. okay. It's after hours. I don't know. I might be bleeding into rock star zone though, so I gotta just. No, keep then it that's down. when you start demanding your own brand of yeah. tequila and stuff, yeah. and yeah. having a tantrum on my couch. <laughs> Please don't do that. I don't like or it. Or strip off my shirt. A little porn. A little porn. Take it off. Take it. No, don't. It's okay. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Seriously, <laughs> I will not do that. I promise you. you I might have, have had a couple bears. beers, but I'm not. Yes. I'm not at rock star status yet. So, that aside, mm-hmm. I'm really glad that there's bar camp right now going on. And I think Portland definitely knows how to run a geek get together. <laughs> Honestly. There are some dedicated people here. There are. And they get paid in love, so let's give them some love. They're amazing. They get paid in love. In love, people. In love.
love. I see Dawn laughing, but it's true, and she knows it. They get paid in love. You know, it, it honestly does reciprocate in the community, and I've mm-hmm. seen. I, I mean, I lived in the Bay Area. Oh my and, God, you've got 33 seconds. Okay, shit. Um, <laughs> this is way better. Stop <laughs> loving people. Tell us about yourself. Okay, so so uh, I launched a website out of EcoTrust. Really cool place. The EcoTrust building. EcoTrust building. Nice. EcoTrust. The, they're amazing. Um, Peopleinplace.net. Okay, it's up and going. It's got a cool cool things. Um, and then also, I am doing a session tomorrow. Um, and it's going to be talking about games. I know. Fancy games. pants games? No, not fancy pants games. Eh, I'm not flash <laughs> stuff. Not flash stuff. Nothing against the congregate people there. Oh my God, you're out of time. Tell us where to find you on the internet. One o'clock uh, tomorrow. Um, Alan Block, RubyMiner.com. RubyMiner.com? Ruby Mi- yes, I have that Alan domain. Block, Alan with an I. Yeah, and, and, and you know, it's not just an amazing splash page. Look at the source. Okay, and follow a little hint Twitter. to everyone. I think I've solved the entire like alt element in the images. Just oh my God, Alan, get off my couch. Okay. Thank Love you, guys. Alan. Thank go, you very go much. Go see Wait, Alan's talk tomorrow at 1 oh, o'clock. Craig, come on up. I got to bring in the music. Oh, yes, okay. please bring in the music, Alan. Yeah. That's what you're here for. But Craig, you, you come up while the music is happening. My eager beaver, Craig. If I could give anyone more than five minutes, it would be Craig because... My dad loves him. Okay, just smoosh in behind your microphone. Okay, you, nice. you know the drill. You've been on the show. Yes, yes. Hello, everybody. Hi, Craig. Hi, Craig. Uh, okay. This is, this is Craig Schwartz from Toonlit. He is at Toonlit on Twitter. Craig, let me, as soon as I get my iPhone back on. You have five minutes. Go. Okay, uh, so I have a twin-pronged attack for my, uh, my talk tonight. Uh, the first is to tell you about what I'm going to be talking about just briefly tomorrow in a session at 12. Um, but the, the, uh, I'll, get to the, I'll get to the gist of the session, which I think is going to be really, 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 really cool. Um, but I, I have a, a website. Uh, it's called uh, tunelit.com. It lets anybody make their own web comics. And uh, <laughs> If you've not been to tunelit.com, there's something wrong with you. Please go. <laughs> I would appreciate it. And uh, yesterday, in fact, we launched a little feature. It's called Twitter Comic, and it lets you make comics from what people are talking about on Twitter. <laughs> so uh, you can actually go to the site, create an account, uh, sign up, uh, create an avatar for yourself, uh, s- tie it to a Toonlet account via our settings page, and, and then when anybody uses uh, your tweets to make a Twitter comic, they'll have access to your, your avatar to make comics from. So, so awesome. It's, it's a lot of fun. That's what I've been wanting for ages, is to be able to get someone else's tune it. It's, it's our first step to that, and it's, uh, it's pretty cool. And in fact, we had, uh, I had an exchange today with, with a friend of mine, and uh, we both made uh, you know, this, it's the same comic in about, uh, the sa- actually, it was the very same minute as well. So it's, it's, it's a lot of fun. I, I encourage everybody to try it out. And I'm gonna, like I said, I'm going to be talking about it very, very briefly tomorrow in a session at noon I, that may be in this What's space. I'm not sure. Called? It is called the, the, the History of Twitter with Tricks. Mm. Possibly with Trick. It may just be, I may be the, the sole trick. You might be a one trick pony? Yeah. I don't have a pony, but that would be pretty cool. I want a pony with so. purple hair. I told Legion of Tech that earlier. You guys could get on that. <laughs> my little pony. No, I have my little ponies. I want a pony with purple hair. All right. I'm sorry. Continue. I'm taking some of your time. The, the, the session itself, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to talk it up now, uh, is, is going to be run by a man in the back there, uh, Dom Sagala. Uh, Yay, Dom. Dom. D-O-M. Oh, Dom. Dom. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, Dom. Yeah, yeah. Who, Hello, Dom. Who was uh, a uh, an employee, I guess, of, of Odeo. Can, can, can Dom? Odeo? Can, can he join me? Yeah. Hey, Dom. Dom, can you, you come up? We've got a couple minutes. You've got two you minutes, 30. Down? Are you going to give him a reset? Can, wait, is Odeo the Odeo player, right? Yeah. I'm going to start over. Can we start over from five minutes? I think, I think it's worth hearing all of this. Hey, Dom, can, you put, really those, cool can you put those headphones on? Dom, there's headphones right there. He can do it without the Odeo? headphones, too. It's true. He could, but isn't we use an audio yeah. player every week? Yeah, it's just to embed our uh, to embed our show. Yes, yeah, still on our site. It works. <laughs> Do you guys know the history of audio? No. Dom, take it away. Educate me, please. So, audio was one of the first podcasting tools mm-hmm. before Apple got into the game. Mm-hmm. We were the open source alternative to open the source, ladies and gentlemen. Phenomenal. <laughs> uh, we built it on Ruby on Rails. 
Really it was great. Nice. It worked really well. We had you know thousands and tens of thousands of users, mm -hmm. and then Apple came along and said yoink, and sort of dominated the market. Apple said, "Podcasting, you are my bitch." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we use both Apple and Odeo. So we, as a group, uh, decided to reinvent ourselves, mm -hmm. and we had a week-long brainstorming session. And I was lucky enough to be in the group with Jack Dorsey, the inventor of Twitter, mm -hmm. when he described the idea for the first time. And he talked about a service that would keep us connected no matter where we were uh, and share the status of, of what we were doing wherever we were. And originally it was an SMS, a group SMS application. Mm -hmm. And there was a very simple web interface. There was no RSS or of any kind, no syndication. You, you didn't even have, at first we didn't even have uh, the follow command that was invented a couple of days later. And uh, the first day he unveiled it, I was a little late to the office so I'm actually only, I'm user number nine, it's which I regret to this day. We should, you know, you should have been number seven. That's my God. favorite number. Just Seriously, saying. but um, no, it was a great it was a great day, and I, I saw immediately that it was it was very addictive, and that was my first post number thirty eight. Oh, this will be addictive, and I t I stand by that. I think it has an addictive quality, but um, it was a, it was a great week. We you know we all discovered our own way of writing that week. And uh, you know, Crystal, who's still with the company, was our most active user, and she was she was writing, you know, a couple times, three times, four times a day, and that was a lot. Mm -hmm. um, because back in those days, you were messing around on your mobile phone with T9 text input, so you're going da, 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 T, da, 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 W, <laughs> da, 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 T, T. So it was mm -hmm. a big, it, you know, you knew whatever you got, wherever you were, was coming from someone on their mobile from wherever they were. And they were very a, determined. And they were your buddies. It was just our, it was just, you know, our, our team mm -hmm. and our family. Um, so it was, uh, it was a nice little community. I kind of missed those days. Yeah. We liked it. And that's the way it was. Oh, golly, I was tweeting before there was a word tweet. <laughs> exactly. I used to have to hike up a hill in the snow. It was a Five failed miles, trout. Five miles, four ways to get this in the tweet. Love we three. loved it. Oh, <laughs> well, that was three years ago. And uh, since then, three I've, years ago? yeah, exactly. Oh that was, oh, that's like, three years that's ago. like 47 years in internet terms, right? Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, <laughs> back when we were driving the Edsel. <laughs> so what happened was that Twitter kind of forced audio out of the limelight. The group decided to switch completely from being a podcasting company to being this messaging company. And in the process, they let most of us go. Um, so I spent the summer, that summer, kind of looking for myself uh, in, in, in the San Francisco Bay Area. I decided... Did you find yourself? I did. I found myself. Good. I found myself surfing a lot. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but um, actually what I did was I created the at surf account. Mm -hmm. I created the at work account. Mm -hmm. And I decided just playing with Twitter, being the best writer I could, you know, seeing what's possible. In 140 characters. Exactly. <laughs> actually, back then, you had the ability to write more than 140 <gasps> characters. That's... The 140 Sorry. character limit didn't come around till February of 2007. Was there a character limit? Uh, well, you, you, what would happen is you'd write more than 100, 160 characters, and the message would get truncated and bifurcated into different messages, so you'd uh -huh. get these. What would happen is there was a bug. You'd, well, actually, it's a bug in the, in the SMS system. You'd get these messages kind of out of order, mm -hmm. and there were other bugs, and they decided um, to limit it to 140 characters, mm -hmm. and, and Jack wrote this post in February saying one could change the world in 140 characters and, and that, totally that quote kind of changed the way I think about it mm -hmm. I thought well Jack's right you could change the world with just 140 characters and so I started a project called 140characters.com and it spawned an idea for a book which I'm writing now uh, I'll be talking about this whole concept tomorrow at noon here in this room noon in, in the big session. room you guys totally have to go I wish I weren't taking my kid to a birthday party but I am that's very cool too yeah, it is, but, you know, yeah. she'd like this, too, because she thinks Craig's the man. Um, so tell me where we can, no, really, my, my daughter thinks Craig is the man. It's true. It is true. I am a man. It, it's how she, I got her to go willingly to her computer lab classes by telling her that Craig had to learn computer stuff, too. Um, tell us where we can find each of you on the Internet. Uh, well, I'm at dom.net. You can also find me at dom on Twitter. At and Dom on Twitter. It, it's good to be an early adopter. That, that was my... I, well, I, I had Dom.net. I figured, well, I'll just be simple and call it Dom. Um, and then the book, you can find 140characters.com, or you can follow us at the book. Excellent. And Craig, where can we find you? Um, I am uh, at Toonlet on Twitter. That's T-O-O-N-L-E-T. 
and it's also tunelet.com. And if you want to make uh, uh, Twitter comics from your tweets, it's tunelet.com slash Twitter comic. And you should love Tunelet because my dad loves Tunelet. He really does. <laughs> my dad really loves Tunelet <laughs> He's a awesome. lot. All right. Thank you guys so much. It was great thank to see you, you Dom. You're welcome. Thanks for Craig, having me. Craig, always good to see you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay. And Sarah, come on up. And you guys go see Kelly. All right, Sarah. Hi. It's Sarah Davies at sarahdavies.com. And Sarah, you have five minutes. And she wrote, wore the appropriate footwear to Strange Love Live tonight. I have boots very similar to that, but they're taller. And I wore them when I got married. Not, not taller with a heel, but they come out to my knee. Nice. Yeah. Wonderful That's boots. Beautiful. Okay, so, let's... Yeah, just bring Is that, that mic in. Yeah, just bring it into you. You just bring it up to your mouth. Bring it up if you to can. you. All the way up to my mouth. There you go. Yes. Okay, Sarah. Sarah Davies. S A R A H D A V I E S at Twitter. Yeah. What do you have to tell us? Um, so I work for the. Uh, I'm here from Seattle. I work for the ACLU of Washington State. So um, I've been yes, working no. uh, long days yeah. the last couple of weeks, and we've passed uh, voting rights for former felons. Yeah. We've passed. Um, Full rights for domestic there's, partners. There's a lot of former felons in the house and a lot of domestic partners in the house. And uh, it's been really exciting, and I've been pushing them to use uh, open source tools. I came to Bar Camp Portland last year, and uh, it was fantastic, and I learned all about Drupal and WordPress, which we've uh, since uh, implemented. So we have a new WordPress site with a streaming video called uh, MarijuanaConversation.com. Woo! It's got uh, tons of video, it's got Rick Steves, and it's, it's all about uh, changing our marijuana laws to be uh, more logical. And, <laughs> and what currently. would more logical be? Well, um, we tried to pass a bill in Washington uh, this legislative session that basically said that if you have uh, 40 grams or more of marijuana uh, on your person, which um, in Washington, uh, if you're caught with marijuana, with, like, with a brownie. Washington... Or Washington, Washington D.C. State. Okay, thank you. Washington State. Yeah, I'm from Seattle. So it didn't go through this session, so we're hoping for next Dude, session. Dude, it's a pot brownie. Get over it, people. I know. Get over real. it. So It's um, mostly chocolate and flour. <laughs> so go to MarijuanaConversation.org. Watch the videos. Watch the extended interviews. It's great. Um, that's all built on WordPress. It's all open source, which I'm really happy about. And uh, we're also working on uh, redesigning our entire site into Drupal so that it's all open source as well, um, which I've learned a lot from people at Bar Camp Portland about how to use open source and how to use open source for advocacy and how to uh, make the world a better place through open source technology, which has been great. Um, You're I did a big go open to, source fan. I am. Are you coming down for OS Bridge? No, I should. Yes, you should. <laughs> Um, I'm probably one of the only people who's actually being paid to be here because my well. employer is so awesome because ACLU fucking rocks. Um, yeah. Technically, I paid you. You're paid to be here? Excellent. No, I paid you. Oh, you paid because you're an ACLU member? Go you! Thank you, Thank Alan, you. for being an ACLU member. Paying for me to so, be here. So just Excellent. to recap, if I bring a pot wedding cake to a wedding i'm really <laughs> screwed is that you're what you're charged saying charged for the weight yeah, of the wedding Seattle, cake? yeah if, if you yeah if you're caught you're charged for the weight of the entire wedding cake wow you're going In to jail court. forever baby yeah okay it's, it's fucked up <laughs> okay sarah you have 50 seconds left what do you want to tell us and where can we find you on the internet so um uh, what I want to tell you is thank you so much for being open source advocates. Uh, I went to Bar Camp Seattle and it was all about fucking Windows and Adobe and Photoshop. So what we're saying is Seattle Silverlight and like and oh, I'm seeing a nice finger back what, there. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what Just, we're saying is those companies may be located there. If you have the chance to go to Seattle there. Bar Camp, I organize it. Don't go. Oh. Protest it, right? It's all about closed source bullshit. Okay. Do not go. Come to Bar Camp Portland. Because Bar Camp Portland is all about WordPress and Drupal and open source and saving the world, building tools that are open for everyone, for children in Zambia to learn about open source software, okay, to learn Sarah. about content management systems. And 
Sarah's tongue Operating is up. Systems Where can we find you on the web, Sarah? Um, I'm at uh, Sarah Davies on Twitter or sarahdavies.cc on the web. All right. Thank, thank you so you. much. Everybody, we have been here. I think we've outstayed our welcome. It is very, very late. Thank you so much for joining us this evening. Strange Love Live had a fantastic time at Bar Camp. I'm so glad that all of you came out and that all of you stayed for Strange Love for Live. Everybody. Thank you, everybody. And thank you so much to Joe Christensen. Thank you so much, Joe. And Alan. Thank you, Alan, for having a blue name tag and being an awesome DJ. <laughs> And Kelly, thank you guys so much. Let's thank Verso for um, wrangling everybody and making them sign stuff. All right, good night, everybody. We'll see you next week.